hello out there again. Welcome to another edition of Carlton Says Real Talk, where we give you an opportunity to um, get to know the actors and the television personalities that you are seeing on your television screen. Today I have a very special guest with me. Uh, he's made appearances on The Wire, on Law & Order SVU, and my favorite show, One Tree Hill. Here we have today Mr. Ernest Waddell. What's up, Ernest? Hey, how's it going? It's going good, man. It's going good. How are you doing today? Good, good, good. All right, well, we're going to um, jump off here. Um, just give our listeners, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, where you grew up, siblings, hobbies, favorite colors, whatever you want to tell us, you know, just so we can get to know you a little better. Um, well, I grew up in, in Bowie, Maryland, uh, which is like uh, right outside of D.C. Um, in the suburbs, I have a sister. Um, I took... Uh, classes like acting classes in high school and um i got an opportunity to go to uh england to do this program at the oxford school of drama one summer and that got me really excited and i i ended up going to nyu for theater school and started hustling there and then started working you know yeah, cool. Well, cool. Well, um, that's 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 awesome. Like, so you were kind of jumping into the next question as far as getting started with acting. So you said you took um, some classes and went on from there. What was um your first professional role, and how did you know how did that make you feel when you when you got that quote unquote big break? Um, I was really uh, conflicted because w my first sort of big role was well, actually, no, I I did um. I was I was excited. My first my first big role was uh, this movie called um, Season of Youth, and um, I was like maybe nineteen, maybe eighteen, and it was like a movie about a kid who he goes to a private school and then he experiences like some racism. Um, but it was it was it was dope. I I was thrilled to be in my first like sort of big thing where it was like all me, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what was the what was the conflicted thing you were talking about earlier? I uh, was I was talking about the wire because that was like my intro to television. Okay, and I, I wasn't sure if it was if I would be sort of typecast, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so I wasn't sure if I should take it, but then I felt crazy because it was a great role and. I should do it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know like that. And that's definitely the next question. Um, so I'm going to go and get into The Wire. Um, I actually got into The Wire real late. I uh, When it came on, I guess it originally came on um, HBO. And I didn't have HBO at the time, so I, I missed all five seasons of The Wire. And, um, like, I got into it real late. I, it comes on now on the Direct TV channel. So I started watching it. And, bro, that show is amazing. That's, like, one of the best shows here. Um in history, and a lot of people do say that that is one of the best shows in history. And as uh, Ernest was saying, he did have a role on The Wire. He played Dante, uh, which is Omar's boyfriend, in seasons two and three. Um, so, like I said, how was that whole experience with being on The Wire? I know you were saying, like, at first you was really conflicted as far as being a typecast, but once you got over that, like, how was it being on that show and just working with such a, um, an amazing, outstanding cast? Um, it was great. I was just really nervous, you know, all the time. So it was a totally different experience for me because a lot of those guys had been around for a while and sort of knew the business and knew what they were doing. But I think I was just really, <laughs> I was trying to make sure that I wouldn't, you know, be fired or mm -hmm. anything. <laughs> you know? So like, so I, <laughs> so, I mean, I, I know this show is very suspenseful as far as you just never know who's going to die. So how was that like, how did, how did they do, like, did y'all get the scripts, like, the week of or week before? Like, how that work? Because I know, like I said, you never know who's going to die. Like, it could be a main character, a supporting character that you yeah. loved. You know, you just never know who's going to be off next. So how did that whole thing work with the scripts? And, or I what? mean, we kind of we kind of got them, you know, every, like, couple weeks. and Like, whenever, whenever I was in it, you know. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it was really exciting to read the scripts because, you know, you find out all of this new information and, you know, it's kind of like watching the show. Yeah. But. Yeah. That's, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. I like, I love that show. 
that that that's that really my siblings pick on me about it all the time. How much how much I like that show because I'll actually stay up late just to just to watch it and just and get caught up on, on what's going on. Now Ernest was on another show that is my all time favorite. He was on um, One Tree Hill. He was a recurring character on the show. He played uh, Peyton Sawyer's half brother Derek. Now how was it coming into that situation as far as being a part of um, this incredible show that had a big impact on a lot of his viewers? Uh, I mean, really, it was just, it was a totally, it was like night and day. I mean, it was just a totally different experience. We were shooting in Wilmington, like this sort of beach town and sort of a college town. So it was really good. Almost the antithesis of, you know, being in Baltimore and like, you know, in rough parts of town. So, but it was, I mean, it was, it was great. It was, it was actually a little bit, of a while after I'd done the wire, so mm-hmm. because I had done, I did another show in between, so I wasn't, you know, it was great. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's funny being on a show that's geared to a completely different audience, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you you sort of feel that, like the sort of crowd that the wire would appeal to, or the crowd that you know Once You Hill would appeal to. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like said, I man, I like that show. I wonder Hill is bomb to me. I love that show. Like I can watch that show over and over again. And just like I said, just how the thing that amazes me is from the growth and as obvious growth within each season. Like from seasons one all the way to the final season of season nine, it's like so much growth, and you get to see the characters grow and develop and mature, and just see how the relationships change. Like it's just. It's an amazing show, and like I said, I, and I loved your character. Um, you know how Derek came into the situation first. Peyton assumed that her brother was white because I guess she was white, and then when you show up and you're like an African American, she's like, "Whoa, I can't believe like my brother's black." You know what I'm saying? So it was just, it was definitely a cool um, twist. That whole psycho Derek storyline is the best storyline. I love it. So, um, like I said, it, and and um, again, just seeing you work on that show. Like I said, it, it's definitely amazing, amazing acting skills and just amazing how, how much chemistry you and Hillary Burton have on the show. So how was it working with her? Thank you. Oh, she's great. She's super smart, too. She reads a ton of books. She was always reading books on set. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she looks like she's a reader. Yeah. She looks like she's a reader. Um, all right, well, let's switch gears going to another show that Ernest Waddell um, had, is ma- had currently making appearances on. He's uh, on Law & Order SVU, which comes on um, NBC. He plays uh, Ice-T's son. Um, now give us a little background about your character, um, you know, for those who may not watch SVU, and also how is it working with um, Ice-T and the rest of the cast of the show? Um, so I play uh, Ice-T's estranged gay son, and... Somehow, a crime happens that sort of surrounds me, and Ice T ends up um, finding me, and <laughs> you know we re- reconnect. And I guess throughout each throughout the episodes that I've been through, um, throughout the episodes that I've shot, you know, Ice T and I, or our characters, have you know become more and more father and son like. Mm-hmm. Um, Ice T is great. The entire cast is. Uh, really nice, and it's always fun to go back. I mean, it's always, like, exciting. They always give me some exciting things to do, you know? There's always, like, somebody's getting killed, or, you know, <laughs> we're going undercover, you know? So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Is it a different feel? I, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, I was going to say, you know, it's always great to to work with somebody who's been around a long time, like I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You always you He's like a... He's a ball of wisdom, you know. Mm-hmm. I was just about to say, yeah, it's cool to always get that, you know, get that experience and get that word of wisdom from somebody who's who's been in the game for a while. Now, what I was about to say was, is it a different feel from The Wire as far as, like, because I know they're both kind of crime, shoot 'em up related a little bit. Like, is it kind of the same feel, or how's the feel on the, how's, what's the comparison between SVU and The Wire? Uh, just in time, you know, with, uh, Long or SVU, uh, they shoot a lot of episodes. They they shoot them really quickly, mm-hmm. you know. And you're you're always aware of like how time plays a factor. Where uh, SVU, there was just a lot of time on set. I mean, not SVU, um, The Wire. There was just 
there was a lot of time on set. You know, if they didn't get something the way they wanted, they would they would take the, the time to get it right. Mm. When, you know, shows like um, SVU, there's just a lot of factors involved that will keep you from being able to take that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Well, um, um, Ernest also dabbled a little bit into the web series genre with the short-lived uh, BET web series Buppies, uh, starring and produced by Tatiana Ali. Now, um, Ernest, your character, he was uh, pretending to be like a hardcore gangster, rapper, or whatever, but he was obviously living a lie when it was revealed that his white girlfriend shows up, you know, shows up at the door. They was having some kind of like house party for Tatiana's character. Um, so how was it working like on that web series? Um, it was cool. It was cool. Um, we shot it kind of like a movie, you know, like we shot it all together and then Mm -hmm. they sort of broke it up into a web series. So, Mm -hmm. um, the shooting was obviously a lot of fun because you could sort of like dive into the story of it and, you know, the locations are great. Like shooting party scenes are always fun. Yeah. Oh yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Definitely. Definitely. Now, I was kind of, because I was actually into the web series, because I'm, I'm a big fan of, you know, Tatiana Lee and her work, Um, but I was disappointed. Like, they didn't come back for a second season. Do you know why they didn't come back, or what happened? I have no idea why. Okay. Because it kind of left us hanging. It was just like, y'all sat in a circle, had a kumbaya moment, and then that was it. You know, because it was just all this stuff was happening with each character. And I guess I was assuming in the second season it'll get exposed or get resolved or something, but you know, just kind of just end it with y'all in a circle, and that was it. So, yeah, so. <laughs> it was a good show. Yeah, it was. It was, and it had, I mean, I felt like it had potential. It could have been something that was, you know, very powerful and in, in the you know web series genre. But you know, you know, that's the industry for you. You know, it is what it is. I guess. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Ernest had the opportunity. Um, to make a special appearance on my show, my first web series, College Days. Um, first And first, I want to say to you, Ernest, thank you for taking the time out to be a part of it. Um, it was a lot of fun. Like I said, again, I, um, I um, watched you on One Tree Hill, and I was just like, yeah, I would love to work with this guy. And then, bam, he, here we are. I'm actually in L.A., and I'm actually talking to, you know, one of, one of my um, favorite actors and talking to him and we're actually working with them. So, again, I want to thank you um, for being a part of the show, and it definitely definitely meant a lot to me. my pleasure. Yeah. Um, can, pleasure. You, can you tell the, our audiences how it was, you know, coming to that situation and working working on, on College Days? Um, <laughs> That's my phone I mean, beeping. In. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> uh, could, go ahead. Um. It was it was cool. I I mean, obviously, I didn't know a lot of the. It seemed like there was a lot of storylines going on, and mm. I didn't know them coming in. And you had to explain things to me, but but it was a lot of fun. Cool, cool. Uh, like I said, man, it was just, it was just an awesome experience for me because, like I said, I um again just seeing your work and it's just like, yeah, I really want to work with this guy, and it was just awesome just to have have the opportunity, um, you know to to work with you you know so it was it was, it was yeah. definitely a lot of fun man and I, I once again i definitely definitely appreciate it definitely of appreciate course. it um all right so we're going to get into the um next question Ernest, actually and i've v- visited his website and i didn't know this that you're a, you're an artist um you have some like artwork uh, artwork is that is that your work yes it is okay i mean i yeah Cool, cool. Well, tell us about uh, that. And how did you get in? Like, how did you get in, involved in the art world? Uh, really, I just, I mean, one day in like '06, I just started uh, painting and stuff like that. And I've been, I just, I just stuck with it. I mean, I really don't have a medium. I mean, I like taking photos too, but um, I'm just. I mean, I, I just continue to make things. I'll just say I don't want to. I don't know. I want to say like I'm a I'm a pro at it or anything. I just I just enjoy it, so I keep doing it. Yeah, that's cool. Like so I like so I looked at it. Like I said, it's it's some it's some good stuff. So you know, keep at it, man. That's you know, you just you just never know with, with how things are and how life works. You just never know what's gonna happen next. So like I said, I I, I definitely enjoyed the work that I've seen. You know, on your website. So. It's awesome. awesome. Thank you. I now, um, Ernest, um, what 
do you have any future projects in the works? And if so, you know, what are, what do you have going on? Um, I am producing a cooking show, um, with some friends of mine and I'm also, uh, working, I have a sort of a feature film that I'm going to direct in development, which is, which is going to be crazy because I've never directed a, a feature length movie before, but it'll mm-hmm. be fun. And, um, yeah, just, just, uh, some, some roles coming up, some, some potential film roles, which is great. Cool. So, cool. That sounds awesome. That's, that's great. It sound like you got a lot of stuff, you know, coming ahead. So you're going to be really busy with, <laughs> um, you know, in, in the next few months, I guess. Definitely. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Someone walked in the room. Um, <laughs> it's all good, man. That's And that's the beauty of this doing this stuff live and everything, you know, just stuff happens. So, you know, my phone beep. I keep forgetting to turn my um texting notification thing off when I'm doing my interviews because it'll beep while you're talking. So, you know, it's all good. Stuff happens. So <laughs> it's all good. We're real laid back. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, last question here. Um, since Carlton says is a blog about television, um, if you are watching TV, um, what are some of your favorite shows um, that, that, that are out now? You know, tell us what are you, what are you watching, if you are watching anything. Um, on television, I'm watching um, Blue Planet, just like, I, I watch a lot of nerdy television, like, you know, No Reservations, or I watch Family Guy. I watch Family Guy. I watch, um, but lately I'm watching Carl Sagan's Cosmos and uh, the the Blue Planet. It's like a, I think, National Geographic show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So, I like those shows. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it's it's it's. I know that's not really on my radar, but you know, I mean, it's it's cool that there are shows out there that cater to people who who enjoy them. I know my mom likes watching that the Discovery the Discovery Channels and the Animal Planets and stuff like that. She's real big into that, so you know, it's it's. I mean, I've I've watched it for a few seconds, then I have to go and try to find something else. So <laughs> it's not really my cup of tea, but you know. It's, it's like I said again. It's it's cool that there there is other things out there that you know that people can watch and enjoy. So, so yeah, oh. but but um but all right. Well, Ernest, again, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to join us today. Um, really. Oh no worries. Really, really appreciate it. Um, and thank you guys out there for listening. Um, and you know, hopefully, um, do you, hold on, real quick. Last question though. Do you know SV, SVU is coming back next season? I have no idea. They don't tell me this. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, if it does come back, hopefully you guys can see uh, Ernest Waddell on Law & Order SVU, which comes on NBC. Um, again, we thank Mr. Waddell for joining us. Um, big shout-out to my audio engineer, Robert McDaniel, for Studio 4002. Um, we're definitely doing it big, and just keep on the lookout for, for Robert and I and how, as we continue to venture on with Carlton Says Real Talk and other projects we have going on. All right. Thank you guys for listening. This has been Carlton Says Real Talk, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.